Hi, Miguel Goodberg from Adorama Rental Company, here with Stefan from Ari to hear all the news about the Alexa. Hi, Miguel. Here we have our newest member of the Alexa family, which brings us to a total of five. This is the Alexa Plus 4x3. As we introduce the uh, Alexa Studio uh, with the 4x3 sensor enabling us to shoot anamorphic lenses and, and, and even shooting with spherical lenses to repositioning horizontally, uh, I'm sorry, vertically, um, we, we had to uh, uh, add the Plus version as a companion camera to it. So that's what you see here. As you can see here, there's the 4x3 sensor uh, displayed. We see it here with the uh, Plus Electronics, all the lens control functionality is integrated, but it has the same still uh, wonderful dynamic range, uh, signal to noise ratio and high sensitivity like all the other Alexas. Also, uh, currently we're at uh, software version 6.0, which uh, we just uh, introduced a couple weeks ago. This enables us now to also uh, use DNX HD as the recording media. So we can go, uh, which we currently support 145, uh, and then uh, 220 uh, bit uh, maybe it's DNX HD, uh, which can record to the SD card and you can plug in directly into your Avid machine. Uh, we will uh, also uh, work on some other software features. One of them will come with software version 7.0, where we actually have then a ProRes format for 4x3 as well as a 2K ProRes. And then later on this year, uh, software version 8, we project to have uh, card spawning uh, capability. Basically, when a record, uh, when a card is full, then it records flawlessly and seamlessly to the next card, uh, which will be huge. Also, what we're thinking about is a post trigger. So, depending on the uh, format you're shooting and the frame rates you're shooting, five between five and fifty uh, seconds of post trigger. So. If uh, you basically want to keep uh, uh, shooting, if you're working with kids and uh, you know you're shooting commercials, for instance, and uh, the the action just happened, if you press the button, you're still safe. You're still recording those thing as it records to a buffer on the cards. So that's very, very, very helpful. Also, what we show on this particular camera is uh, our Fujinon lightweight zoom. One out of two uh, lenses we offer. This is the 30 to 80. It's a T 2.8. Uh, with an excellent image performance. The other focal length is a 15.5 to 45, um, uh, which is also a really, really beautiful lens. It's about uh, 5 pounds, 5.2 pounds weight, um, and, and uh, has the same uh, color matching than, than our other Alluras, and the very well matched to the Ultra Primes and Master Primes. Uh, these lenses are actually encoded so if you're using it on the plus version of the camera or on the studio, which has the lens uh, uh, LDS mounts on the, uh, on, on the PL mount, it actually feeds the information to the camera and it is embedded in the uh, metadata of the clips, in the uh, ProRes, in the uh, Unpressed HD, or the Airy RAW, which can be very, very helpful for VFX shots. So, Stefan, tell us about the major differences with the Alexa Studio camera. Well, the Studio is our flagship Alexa, uh, and it has actually a spinning reflex shutter and an optical viewfinder. The optical viewfinder is great because you have less viewing fatigue compared to an electronic viewfinder. You don't have any delay, um, and you can judge focus a lot better. Also, you can work faster because you don't actually need any power on the camera and you can already set up the camera, you can look through the finder and start composing your shot. This camera, as the uh, 4x3 Plus we talked about earlier, has a 4x3 sensor, so we can use an anamorphic lens. In this case, we actually have a very, very early prototype, and actually more a concept of an anamorphic lens, which was uh, uh, designed in collaboration with Zeiss. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it's really an amazing lens. It has about the size and the weight, as you can see, of a Master Prime. Um, and uh, we're still right now debating what focal lengths will be, you know, uh, uh, part of the set. How many lenses will be in the set? So we're going to have more news about this uh, effort uh, at IBC in September. So uh, stay tuned. Also, what we have here is our wireless network adapter. Also, a concept is. Uh, you can see here this is actually a wireless interface which you can actually allow, uh, which allows you to uh, interface with like an iPad you know with an app this is also something we're currently uh, doing 
uh, by uh, publishing our API, by publishing our, our uh, protocol essentially via the uh, Ethernet interface, and we encourage uh, partners, you know, come in and uh, and develop applications to, you know, for, for our Alexa system. So this here, as you can see, has the anamorphic, has the optical viewfinder, has the anamorphic D squeeze. It is actually equipped with a uh, codex recorder, uh, which is one of our many recorders which are certified for area raw format, which gives it the best possible image quality, most flexibility in post. So, Stefan, tell us about the M, the mobile unit that you have here. Well, M stands for modular, and as you can see here, we essentially chopped the front end of the regular Alexa, put an additional cooling and the multiplexer into the interface with the fiber, and then it has tethered to the processing back end here, which is also a little bit elongated. But, you know, being tethered is not always a disadvantage. We just recently shot some aerial footage in a helicopter and uh, had actually the back and in the helicopter with us, so we didn't have to touch down. We could actually change the media when the, the magazines were full, or the SYS cars were full, right in the air. And uh, actually, the only uh, time we had to go down is to refuel, so that was wonderful. But again, also a 4x3 sensor, so it's a companion camera to the studio and the uh, 4x3 Plus we introduced and it just gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. You can get in really tight spaces, you can go handheld, you can put it just on a, uh, on a stick if you need to get really, really low angles. Um, and uh, we, we put it on a sled for like doing a hockey, ice hockey match. So you can get some really, really interesting and really wonderful uh, different angles and it's a, it's a creative uh, tool. Um, you have that equipped with our uh, other Allura lightweight zoom, the 15.5 to 45, which I pointed out earlier, also a T2.8, uh, same same uh, uh, weight, around five uh, five pounds, and also uh, encoded. So the lens information goes directly into the metadata. That's great, Stefan. Thank you so much for your Bradley. time, man. We we'll talk to you soon.